Nitananda Prabhu, who is more kind than Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Mahabhadan. He said, by Nitananda's mercy, we get Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. By Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, we get Radha Krishna mercy. Came up. So, you know, at that time, the, 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 one of the top rich men of Bengal was Hirana Govardhan. Two brothers they used to collect for the government collect. Uh, each and um, their only son in their family is the Yogananda Das. Mahaprabhu, on his way to Vrindavan, was strict. After taking sannyas, he going to Vrindavan, having no external consciousness in the Vrindavan mood. Going then. Uh, taking Chanda just after, but uh, a, uh, Nadia Basi, residents of Nadia, Mother Sochi, they are feeling very badly, feeling separation from Nimai, who became Sanasi. They came to know Nadia Basi. A long time they don't see him. A feeling separation from him badly. So, Nitananda Prabhu and Advaita Acharya tricked Chaitanya Mahaprabhu on his way to Vrindavan. They brought him to Shantipur. At that time, Hoydas Thakur, the Hiranya used to serve the Vaishnava of Navadip. So, he invited Hoydas to stay in their house. And Raghunath Young, they used to associate with him, with him, and uh, with Ashtakur, took him to Shantipur with him. He accompanied and uh, to other Tatcha's house and uh, uh, Raghunath, the moment he saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, was very much captivated and wanted to become a associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, serving him and take, uh, renounce the family life. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could understand everything but advised him, saying this is very significant, important. Uh, he gives lecture on, on this. Sthir hoya ghare jau, nao vati. Don't be restless. Now go back home. Is he renouncing the material world? It should be a gradual process. You're not just changing dress. We find repeatedly this thing happen. Don't take it seriously, take it for granted. Later on, find very, very difficult to maintain the purity of the ashram. I say, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu say that. You can see, it's take very seriously when Guru says something. Otherwise, he has to learn getting kicked by Maya. He said, Markot boy Raghunakara, look the high. It's not so easy, you know. Like a monkey, you can just give up something. No dress. Hardly any dress here. Yeah, just minimum thing we take for his maintenance of his body. Prabhupada used to say, if you are five feet, you require seven feet to lie down. Some bed. And some food just to maintain his body and day and night serve Krishna. We can artificially give up something, it's not so easy. What you have been doing long time attached to sense gratification to give up, it's not so easy. That's why it's a monkey is an example, but 
He's very, very sensual. He's very. He eats roots, roots. Huh? Everything is trying to okay. But here he's very quiet. He cannot give up sensual pleasure. Even university students say, if I become a dog, Samiji, what is the what's wrong? The Pobar at once say, My blessing with you. If you want to become a dog and enjoy as much as you can, sensual pleasure without any consideration, public or here. He might be at least privately. There is no use. This is the condition of the from time memorial. This is the biggest knot. Very difficult to cut off this. Attraction between opposites and the Sometimes Prabhupada is telling something that somebody said, professor or philosopher. Really, once, a, only if I am married, only once, ideal householder mean, once he has shared with his wife intimately, physically, with his life partner, to just to bring a boy's of child. Otherwise, it's not according to scripture. Otherwise, it's okay. It's very difficult. Most of people will go mad if you restrict it. He said, oh, really? Then he's gone. He left. The moment. Because he said, the natural rights given by nature, and Samiji is depriving us. Oh, he says that. Causing bondage, making stronger and stronger. And the Guru comes to cut it, just like a heavy axe and sharp. There it is. Otherwise, no better than, shall I say, other living entities, say, politely. The God is not saying, He is saying like a hog and dog. Very strong word, though. It's true, when someone to become a he knows person, and it's a gradual person. He say, go back home. Gradually, he come. So, he became that. But he's so attracted, again, again, he tried to run away from home. And his father and mother is discussing this. His father and mother discussing this Mother is usually very attached to son because the father may not be, husband may not be all the time there with her, but son, his expansion there. What do you say? So mother say, so he can't get, make all arrangements, keep 10, 12 servants, always with him, attendant, wherever he goes, wherever he's taking bath, everything, so that he cannot keep an eye on him. His father is saying, husband and wife talking about their son. One who is being captivated by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is not so easy. He can keep him at home. I married him with a, one of the most beautiful girls, his wife, and his father has so much wealth, like him, though, like him also. So to him, it is an insignificant. He is not attracted. Once he has got the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, how are you tying him up? No, 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 lock him up. His mother is saying, time to time, go away, and they bring him. Servants are there. Anytime, go away. Mm -hmm. When they are not looking, little absent minded. Then one day he came to know that Pani Hati, Nityananda Bahu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's top associate. He has come. And so he thought, maybe I go to see him. So there, what is the name of the place? Krishnapur. Huh? So from there, he went crossing the river, most probably, uh, Ganges. He went there with his servants. So Nityananda was sitting under a tree in uh, Panihati village. 
and there raghav pandit invited him raghav pandit and damayanti the great devotee of chaitanya mahaprabhu he invited nitanand babu also and in his house usually this is the devo grihastha's duty they may not have that much time for sadhana and service like those who are renounced brahmachari sannyas but they can have the same benefit by inviting them to their house to do harikatha chanting dancing and make his house bikunta purified and they entertain them and this should they get the same thing ideal guest the guest of gyomit who is not dive into sense gratification eating drinking sleeping this is life in peace uh, how to enhance sense gratification is called gyomit and one who control his senses make life uh, uh, necessity of the body minimum just to keep the body fit and they are night serving for krishna it's a nasi renounce yes. simple living i think if he is not doing then he is a godas he is sai satana is a matter of time he won't be able to maintain it that is a chaitanya mahapu tell ragunath antare nishtha karo baire rup byavahar at that time at heart becomes renounce by lok baba and outside as your ashram is just you have got wife you have got father's business look after this huh but don't be attached please say bhai lok baba achirat krishna tumai kore if you that heart you are sincerely doing like this very soon krishna will deliver you from the material entanglement so to get seriously one should take the word of spiritual master very seriously it's going to be too much familiar the comment of us anyway so ragunath went back and then came and for a distance he is paying him obeisances one of his associate on it around the boat sitting under a tree in a rock and circled by so many of his associates up to the ganges side and the uh, ragunath uh, pay his obeisance as one of the associate everybody know him uh, so prabhu my dear lord here is ragunath paying you obeisance oh ragunath is was no he also where have you been sky hiding like a thief long time from us ha huh? overpower him bring him near here i will give him punishment actually the writer is saying nitanand babu is very very kind more than good but sometimes he is also funny make dramatize sometimes so he brought him and he put his two feet on his head i said i am going to punish you here you see all my associates are here ha huh? you organize a feast for them with chira dahi ha huh? this is the punishment okay and we know that if you serve a vaishnav then god is easily pleased that is the vaishnav fools you want to please krishna please he is dear and near one those who serve him those who are dear those have no 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 there is a, you don't we don't go for say don't go to direct to krishna go through his dear and near one radhani is dearest radhani i brought krishna like this uh, flower fragrant i brought this garland please offer it to krishna and radhani is krishna here is your devotee i i don't know how to serve you he knows better than me please accept it uh, when radhan is recommending definitely krishna will accept you will see radha madhav radhan is holding a garland 
Huh? Uh, posing that one should always have a service attitude towards Krishna through directly not going through his pure devotee, near and dear one. And that is Prabhupada, we are following Prabhupada, all our movement and disciple doing the same thing what Prabhupada said or Prabhupada taught. So Raghunath was very pleased. This is not punishment, this is a blessing that asking me to serve the Vaishnava. He was jubilant. At once enthusiastically arranged with his, with his uh, servants, hey, uh, arrange everything, all the pots, this, that he ordered. Some big pots for Nityananda Prabhu to mix all this stuff. All the local villages, as many shops there, hold their store room, finish being all flat rice and the milkman as much as milk there, you know, condensed milk and yogurt from the food shops, so all the bananas, Chaitanya likes chapa cola, like bananas, sundae, sweet meat made from cheese, camphor, sugar, ghee to mix. And for everybody to serve, 20 percent, uh, they are uh, all serving all the pots, each person, one with milk mixture to flat rice and other thing, one with yogurt mix. Knowing this, there is a festival in the Paniyati Ganga Ghat and they, under the tree, everybody know, all the respected Brahmins, they came to see and Nityananda Prabhu welcomed them with honor. Please sit in a, in a high place compared to other devotees and they accepted the seat. So Nityananda Prabhu prepared this properly his clothes and started mixing and asking others, what's your flat rice, the 20 percent serving? There are three places, the groups there lined up and 20 people serving them. First, each, each of them were given two pots for mixing one with milk and flat rice and with yogurt and flat rice and other thing, banana, sweet meat, sundaes, camphor little milk, Krishna likes, uh, sugar, ghee, uh, then mixing. Nitanabha prepared a seat on his right hand side and two pots, two to four pots there. He sit to and other sit. Start, shut down for meditation. Ask everybody, start mixing flat rice, Wash with Ganges water or any other water they are good. And then start mixing one pot with milk stuff and the yogurt and other stuff. And 20% they are serving them all other three uh, groups of people, devotees, like that. And Nityananda Prabhu sat down for meditation to call Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there. Chaitanya Bhuhani appeared. Nityananda Bhu, wherever he was coming to, Nityananda Bhu appeared. Hey, Chaitanya Mahapu. Nityananda Bhu accompanied by Chaitanya Mahapu. Let us go and see what they are doing, everybody. They are mixing. And Chaitanya Mahapu, Nityananda Bhu took from each pot of mixture, taking one morsel of mixture and put push in the mouth of Chaitanya Mahapu. Fun, smiling. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in return, he is also taking some of the mixture of other devotees mixing, taking one more cell and pushing in the mouth of Nityananda Prabhu. Others watching what Nityananda Prabhu is doing. Those are only some fortunate devotee could see there is also Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there. Not everybody is seeing it. Our own endeavor we can see. Was the first desire, then desire to see God. You serve in such a way that Lord comes to see you. Your own endeavor, you cannot tell. He will be happy. 
as Mother Jasuda was exhausted and Krishna saw. She brought all her rope, but every time, two inches huh, gap, he cannot make the knot. When she's exhausted, I cannot give up almost hope. She's sweating and perspiring. Her sari's gone slackened, loose. Her flowers from her hair, which is nicely like a mat made like that, the ladies do, and decorate. They all fell off the other writers of the uh, this Acharya say that the spiritual world claim everything is um, uh, animate. Huh? Everything is conscious. Everything is person. The flowers she's decorating Mother Jasuda's you know, here, they seeing Mother Jasuda, such a great devotee, great yogi, just have a, to have a glimpse of the Lord within the heart. So many years they pass, doing so much tapasya cannot get. Here, Mother Jasuda is chasing a little son, supreme personal of Godhead. Then they are trying to touch the feet of Mother Jasuda trying to take the dust of her feet on their head. Very nice description there. This is the way to serve the Lord and there is a reciprocation. This is very sweet. This is Batsalaras. There is Dasaras. But on the absolute platform, all are same, but Tatasta platform, there is difference. The Madhujaras is topmost, just like the gopis. But still, the mother Jasuda's place so high is her quality of devotion. Even Lakshmi Devi cannot excel her. Who stays within the heart of the Lord, always within his chest. Mother Jasuda's position, very, very high. So Mother Jasuda is showing how to control. Even impersonalists try to become God. By God's grace, the devotee can become greater than God sometimes. Chesta is God, and God likes it. Mother Jasuda is showing that. So then, seeing Mother's case, Krishna allowed her to bind them. This is rope of love, they can bind it. So here we are saying, what is that? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu bringing Raghunath this way. So Raghunath then did that and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu called him and they are going through and they're all the devotees seeing what they are doing. And then suddenly who invited Nityananda Prabhu with the associates as a great devotee, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is Damayanti and her brother Raghav Pandit. They cook so nice that it is as good as Radharani, who is the topmost cook. Anybody eats Radharani's cooking, he will live long, long time. So Mother Jasuda always brings Radharani to cook for Krishna and gave us so many presents, ornaments, saris, beautiful. So the Dharmanti and Raghunath uh, uh, always cook for Chaitanya Mahapu and offer them. Though they are not happen to be physically there, but Chaitanya Mahapu, wherever he may be, he comes to where Dhamanti and Raghuna, uh, Raghav Pandit is offering him some food stuff, they will definitely go. Chaitanya Mahapu there. Sometime he manifests himself so that he is taking food stuff. They are in Raghav Pandit's house, uh, Dhamanti, Raghav Pandit serving to cook him. Few places like that. And where Nitanabhu dances, it's so beautiful, attractive. They are wherever Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he goes there. Somebody fortunate can see he is there. Now, so 
Raghav Pandit came with some bring, bringing some prasad in plate and seeing what he is doing, Nitanabu. Nitanabu, what you are doing? You are supposed to be in my house with all your associates. Here you are doing a feast? Nitanabu, this is my nature. You don't know I'm like a cowherd boy. You don't know I love by the bank of the river. I always have feast with a cowherd boy. So these boys were past life in Krishna Lila. Krishna Balram used to have, you know, used to eat in front of the where the lotus crown and Jamuna. They remember those things. And Nitanth was saying. And, and, and Nitanth was saying, now everybody say, Hari Bol, and start, start taking prasad. I go, the whole world, there is sound a reverberate, the holy name of the Lord. And Nityananda Bhu came back to his seat and asked, Bro, yeah, Raghav Pandit, come here, join with us with this eh, Chiradui Mahotsav. We will go to your place in the evening. Here, now you eat. I will also all of us eat. Again in the evening, go to your house. We will have chanting, dancing, and then feasting. Prabhupada said, this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement. Singing, Dancing, Harikata, exhausted, take prasad, do some service for Krishna. Go back to Godhead. Not have to push your leg, stand on your hand, head, go to <laughs> Mansarwar in a cold up to here, underwater, you do that. Oh, no, you don't have that. Leave your family, wife, mother, son, everything, your profession. No, you don't have that. Simply sing, dance. Doesn't matter your Gyostha, Brahmachari, Manapasta, Sanasi, Matsu. Try to become a pure devotee of the Lord. Simply by doing this, simply eating prasad, you become purified. Go back to God, that chanting, dancing, as you see. This is our movement purpose. But don't forget, don't be lazy. Sab Krishna, try to preach Krishna consciousness. Do your sadhana. So, Nitanand Bhavu told him, and everybody, Chaitanya Nitanand Bhavu, everybody is saying, other Chaitanya Nitanand Bhavu doesn't eat, how can he? Then Nitanand Bhavu went to his seat, and Chaitanya Nitanand Bhavu started eating, asked the Brahmin, please start eating, everybody chanted. This is basically the Chiradha Yutsa. When he finished, Brahmins came with garland, garland and Nitanand Bhavu. Huh? Gave him chandan, decorated his body, gave him some betel nut, pan. Nitanabu took some and the rest he distributed among the devotees. Then he said, I'm taking this. He went and the devotees, the rest of leftover remains of Chaitanya Mahapu and Nitanabu, Raghapundit, give that to Raghunath Das Goswami. I said, simply taking it, you will automatically be free from the material entanglement. See? Very soon. So next day, Chaitanya Nityananda Prabhu, again, early in the morning, taking bath in the Ganges, sat down there, surrounded by so many of his disciples. Of course, that evening again, in Raghav's house, they have chanting, dancing, and again, Mahapu came to see and then Prasad. Huh? But Chiradi Utsav is this, that next day, that uh, Raghunath approached Nityananda Prabhu when he was sitting, through, appeal to him, through Raghav Pundit, directly not. Say, please tell, that I am very fallen, I'm in a rich family, so that is usually very proud, not humble, but I am trying to ask something, just like a dwarf trying to touch the moon. I am asking something, I want to become a servant of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You please, I know Nityananda Prabhu is very, very merciful. See, please, I am very fallen. So more one is fallen, the Lord is more merciful to him, he can ask. So I have this claim or demand, I don't know what, what I am saying. Please approach. Tell Nitanabhu, I am asking this, falling at his lotus feet, holding. 
then Nityananda, he told Nityananda for next day, say, this Raghunath, you know, is coming from a filthy rich man, the only son in that family, has got a most beautiful wife, and very young, father so much money, he considered this most insignificant compared to having association and service to Nit Chaitanya Mahapu. He is so fortunate. So, Raghunath, you are so fortunate. Come here. He put his feet on his head. You feed all my associate with nice feast. Huh? Even so much so that Chaitanya Mahapu himself came to take your, to join, attend your feast. We, you have already become deliver. Already. Because Chaitanya Mahapu is pleased. Otherwise, you can come. Take this feast. What else you want? So everybody bless Raghunath. You see, he is so much filthy, it's, it's think that filthy rich, beautiful wife, he doesn't care. To him is insignificant compared to serving Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So you all bless every day that very soon he can get the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and cut off his his um, tie free from his free from the well of dark well of material existence of family life materialistic of course, it doesn't apply to devotee. Yes, they cannot like that. Life so, life soon, and I also bless him. Soon. So, don't worry. You very soon, you will be able to free yourself from your family life. Very much. All the devotees. Say, uh, yeah, Raghunath. Then paying obeisance to all the devotees. In that. So from this we learn, Nityananda Prabhu is a Guru Tattva. Guru is actually one, Krishna. Nityananda Prabhu or Balaram. Anybody who coming this succession, ideal disciple of the Guru, he can become again act as a Guru on behalf of his Guru and give all credit to the Guru. And this is Guru Parampara goes, ultimate Guru Nityananda. Thank you very much. Any question, comment? Very well. This is Chiradu Yutsab. And what do you learn from them? This incident. Uh, still, devotees are doing. I am very happy. You are also doing. Yeah. We do make different places. Yeah. Indonesia, so many places we do. Yeah, in in Atlanta he does it in America. Yeah. So many devotees here. Maybe like like yesterday, Nicky. Yesterday came. Oh. That's nice. No question or comment. What is the time? Half past seven. Some song, my singing, make some change, huh? Something can start singing.